To set up external technician collaboration, we start in the admin center under the organization tab with external technicians selected. We can create an external technician group, add a name and a description. By default, the group is set to enabled. The admin can use the permissions at the bottom of the screen to set the permissions for the group as a whole. Once this group is saved, you can see it is added to the list on the left. We have a group, but now we need to create the technicians. Click Create Technicians and fill out the details along with any notes. You must choose to enable this technician and you can see the permissions match below what was set for the group as a whole. Individual technicians permissions cannot be set from this screen but will be able to be set at a later time by the primary technician. Save the changes and this tech is now added to the approved external technician list. The final step is to assign this technician to a tech group. You can do this with a pull down menu or by dragging and dropping them into the appropriate group. Now let's have a look into the technician console to invite an external tech. We are in the technician console with a live session in progress. Click on the invite button at the top of your screen. It gives us two tabs for an internal invite and an external invite. The first external invite option here is to invite an unlisted external tech. Second option is to choose from the list we created earlier. All the details previously entered can be seen. Once a technician is selected, permissions can be further restricted on a case-by-case -case basis. At the bottom of the window, fill out a comment that the external technician will see in their invitation. We click OK, and now we can choose how to send the invite. We can send by email with a link and pin code, we can generate a link with the pin code embedded, or we can simply communicate the pin code and web page. Let's send the email and have a look from the screen of the external technician. We are now at the pin page, viewing it from the perspective of the external technician. After entering the pin code, we run the installer, followed by the applet. This brings up the invitation that we had sent earlier. Click on the Join button to officially enter a session. The external technician console will now launch, and this is a temporary version of Rescue that looks very similar. We are quickly connected to a session and now have access to whatever tools where permissions were granted. For example, we can initiate a remote control session by simply clicking the remote control button. In addition, we have the ability to run the file manager, pull system diagnostics, including any processes or services that are running. We have access to reboot functionality, as well as history or notes that were entered previously. The log on the left-hand side of the screen records all actions taken, and we can chat with the customer at the very bottom or the primary technician at the top. Let's have one more look at the primary tech console. The primary or initial technician in this session can still use all the tools as normal, such as remote control. The log on the left differentiates the actions being taken and by who. But remote control, along with file manager, system information, and other tools can all be used simultaneously with the external tech. The primary technician is always in control. At any time, he can review the permissions and even revoke them mid-session. Ultimately, we now have access to other experts outside our rescue organization. In the Admin Center, under Technician Group and Settings, you can set up the Integrated Content Portal. We have two places here to enter the web pages you want to access. Opens on Launch is the web page that will be accessed when the program opens. Common uses for this are FAQs or Knowledge Base, Intranet or other web content. Opens with Session allows you to specify a web page that will be accessed when a session has launched. A really exciting addition to this feature is the ability to pass parameters from the rescue session to this URL. This could be especially useful when using the portal to load a CRM or ticketing system. 
Product data can also be passed to a knowledge base or product page. I'm using a wiki page and adding a custom field at the end. Once I've saved these changes, we can go over to the technician console and see how the integrated content portal looks when it's in action. By default, the integrated content portal lives at the bottom of the technician console. It can simply be dragged to any size that is needed. It works similar to a web browser, but there is no address bar. Just like a web page, we can navigate through by following links, as well as using the back, forward, and home button. There's also a button to dock the portal on the right side of the screen. From this location, the portal can also be adjusted by dragging. Now let's initiate a session and have a look at how parameters can be passed to the web page. When we set the URL in the admin center, we appended a Wikipedia page with a custom field. As I enter log me in into this custom field, that information is passed through the URL and the portal will be refreshed accordingly. Watch how as the session connects, the page is updated. We're now on the Log Me In customized Wikipedia page. Please visit our website and check our documentation for more details on which parameters can be passed. With this new URL, we can still navigate with links. We can use the back, forward, and home buttons. And we can also adjust where the portal will be docked. What's really interesting is that you can use this portal side by side with the other tools. For instance, remote control and remote view allow, to, allow you to use this to follow instructions or frequently ask questions, regardless of how you have it docked. You can also have the portal live side by side with any of the tabs, and it stays in the front of the screen in order for a good technician experience. Go set the URL in your admin center and use this feature right away.